and this is a little breakdown bit breakdown of democracy and the humor and levity surrounding it on both sides. And by the way, I would like to say that there's a quote that wait, just wait, came wait, out. Wait, 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 wait. Let's second. not talk can about I, both sides. Can I please finish? Well, no, no, no. Let's not talk about both sides. I Let's just talk said about Hillary what's Clinton happening today. And the dossier. Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton is not the president, and Hillary Clinton wasn't just indicted. No. Do you know what? No. Do you know what? You know what? I'm trying to give you guys insights. I actually know a lot we about don't need Paul Manafort. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Is that the president does have broad executive powers to mm -hmm. protect the country, so national security concern. But in reading it, because I've read the dissents and I've read the opinion, it is very clear that what they were grappling with was whether or not this is truly a Muslim ban. Well, they're saying that it isn't a Muslim ban because you have the inclusion of North Korea, there, yeah. you have the inclusion of Venezuela, and you also have other portions of it, of this new proclamation, that's what they call it in the opinion, um, that allows for countries to get off the list, to get on the list, and so it is, it is a much more nuanced and there's, ban. This might be a stupid question. I'm guessing it's probably okay. going to be. Like, the, uh, my understanding, and I'm not a lawyer, is that it's a pause so we can vet people more accurately mm -hmm. before they come mm -hmm. into this country. You're not banning people from well, coming no. into the country you completely. Are, you are right. also banning. But when people are coming They're into the airport, are that. they automatically sent back now? Yeah. Well, that's so, there's, 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 people in the, there's people in the audience shaking their head no, so... In certain uh, countries... Well, it's, uh, I think we should be intellectually honest about what's going on, because my understanding was, like, if you are coming from, say, Yemen, that you would be paused and vetted at the airport before you come into the country, which I think most Americans probably wouldn't have a problem with. And I will say, let's stop being surprised by President Trump's hardline immigration. He's the, what he ran on, it's what I believe he got elected on, along with the economy. And while we may have vast disagreements on it, and it's highly politically polarizing, this is who this man is, and we should stop being surprised. I don't mind... Hardliners on a Supreme Court mm -hmm. if they're voting for the country and not the party. And if they're doing and it that's legally, what's important hardline to me. immigration is fine, but it has so to John be legal. So John Roberts voted illegally? No, no. I don't understand no. what you're saying. You're saying, you're, you're saying, saying when I focus. I am. Like, I'm listening to what you're saying, but I only hear what I want to. You're saying you're, you're saying, saying we're not I'm saying, voting no, legally on the Supreme Court. You're saying the president is a hardliner, and that's fine. I agree with Whoopi. If you're a hardliner, you know that's fine. But the president cannot use his should abuse not. his should not well, abuse his Court power. Just said he didn't. Let me finish. I, I, the president cannot abuse his power. We talked a lot in this segment. And we'll try to show you more hot <clears throat> Paul Manafort just surrendered to the FBI after getting hit. <laughs> With 12 charges, including conspiracy <laughs> against the U.S. Are you okay back there? <laughs> this is the indictment, by the way, everyone. But you know what? We don't it's know what we don't know yet. Let's not get, like, let's just, that we don't even know exactly what's happening. But if we talk exactly about the happened. indictment, which is a fact, right? Because I, I have I'm it right it's here. It's, it's you know what's also a fact is that it came out last week that the DNC and Hillary Clinton has ties. Here we go again. Through this fusion GPS oppo research group, and they also paid money to get this Russian dossier. This is the and ultimate this is a breakdown of, of democracy and the humor and levity surrounding it on both sides. And by the way, I would like to say that there's a quote that wait, just wait, came wait, out. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not talk can about I, both sides. Can I please finish? Well, no, no, no. Who says I can't? Let's not talk about both sides. I Let's just talk said about Hillary what's Clinton happening today. And the dossier. Hillary, Hillary Clinton, Clinton, Clinton is not the president, and Hillary Clinton wasn't just it's indicted. Yeah. Give it to me now. You know what? I'm trying to give you guys insight because I actually know a lot. We don't about need Paul insight Manafort. into Hillary Clinton. Yeah. And I will just say, I, I, I don't. We don't know what we don't know at this point. To, but to sort of like poo-poo the idea that the DNC is now also attached to this Russian, Russian dossier is what makes Republicans' head go crazy. I'm not saying but it's a President Trump. I'm not it's saying a distraction, President Trump Megan. isn't. And also, can yeah. I just say a couple Why are we even talking about the DNC? What's Why are we talking about Hillary? Why aren't we talking well, about the two people I, who were indicted today? Because she did the same thing. You're vilifying that move. Give it to me now. President that Obama told Mitt Romney that it was a 1980s foreign policy in the 2012 Republican President debate. Obama he wasn't said indicted it, today. Democrats <laughs> didn't take this seriously. You know what? Don't care how I want it now. <laughs> 
President Obama did not take Russia seriously, I I'm just trying to explain to you my side of the aisle. No, I, yeah, but let us uh, give it a little to you, too. Okay, We've so. danced around every single topic except what happened today, which is we have an indictment against Paul Manafort, who was the right. campaign chairperson yeah. for Donald Trump in March 2016, and Richard Gates. We're talking about millions and millions of dollars that were, you know, that, that, that were money. Yeah. Can I weigh in? Because you're yes. saying it should be in the spirit of journalism. And I was in the room, and it was all about the spirit of journalism. What no one is covering is the big banner set, White House Correspondents uh, Association, and then it said, celebrating the First Amendment. They gave about this pin that I have on today, First Amendment. Except we were with, all wearing it. Comedian. And I brought the um, the the association little program that we got. <clears throat> All of the pages are about the scholarships that were given to students. Mm -hmm. All of the pages are about the incredible but awards that the journalists as, got. As the it was the last ended, 20 minutes that was the, was the, was the, was the comedian. The last I, I 20 minutes. I do get minutes. the idea. I mean, yes, it is for scholarships. But I actually it's, got it's, in a public fight with Greta Van Susteren many years ago because she invited Lindsay Lohan. And I thought it was beneath the dignity of the White House Correspondents Center. Clearly, I lost that battle. She was very angry with me yeah. at the time. Did, and I just think that there are some dinners in Washington, D.C., the Gridiron Dinner, the Alfalfa Club Dinner, that truly are about celebrating journalism and the work that journalists and political commentators do. This one is, do. too. Would you this one are, you, are, are, you, are, you, are you a journalist? I you consider just, myself. Are, I have okay, a journalism so degree. I was just asking. I consider myself a journalist. I'm just asking. Absolutely. I'm just asking. I understand what you're saying, Megan, because there's and, a... By the way, by the way, I would like to say... The pause line for what, I mean, again, like, I'm just sick and tired of people blaming me like it's my fault because it's not yeah. my fault. I just feel like sometimes you just want to line up conservatives and throw grapefruits at us because, again, I'm just oh, trying to explain. Wait, no, wait, wait, somebody, I'm just I'm trying nobody, to explain. Yes, but I want you to stop doing that. I'm not here to throw you under the bus. It seems like it. It seems like, you know, that has been the general consensus that it's well, all my fault just, and that's not. Well, you're just used to playing the victim. And I was just told well, our, our animosity is towards 66%. Trump himself. The, we do go after that. Trump, I admit it. I'm, I'm one of his worst critics on television. Mm -hmm. But I do not attack the Trump voters. I don't think you've ever heard me say That's that. not you. I'm not supposed well, to show Well, you're talking yeah, about the yeah. vibe here. And the oh, vibe sorry. is not okay. against Trump voters. I think when there's an applause line every single That's time I no, say something. Now you're something. blaming the audience. No, I'm not blaming the audience. my strength by drinking the tears of liberals. By drinking the tears of liberals. So I love that everyone <laughs> is having so much anxiety. Mm -hmm. I love that Joy Behar can't seem to get through a segment without saying our next Free president's being. name. The now you know what it feels like to be me for the past eight years. Mm -hmm. Now you know what it feels like when I woke up and realized that the Iran deal was going through. I love it. This is time of change. It's a time of change. And I'm glad that so many people are finally feeling Free what being. it was like to be a conservative for the past eight years. Mm -hmm. When Bill Clinton was being tried for impeachment, Republicans like Lindsey Graham had a lot different take on letting witnesses have their say. And since he's been up, up his butt, the guy, his numbers have gone through the roof. This well, his, but his numbers have gone really high. Like, but isn't I think it about process? The yeah. Isn't it about process? Am I, I right to... about that? Well, that his numbers are in the 70s. Can I, can I, am I Well, I'm just answer? that one question. Uh, well, you, no, I, my take on this as no, well. She knows the answer. I do. I talked to him day right. four yesterday. The idea that we're going to sit here and act like, you know, it's easy to sit on a TV set and say, oh, we, a conscience, whatever. Politics is politics is politics and it's a really dirty game. And it's particularly <laughs> dirty right now when we possibly could be going to war well, with the Iran. Well, the Constitution is the Constitution is the Constitution. I agree, yeah. but I'm trying to... And it seems to me, it seems to me that politics not, don't... Again, Politics Again, don't I'm not trump saying, the Constitution. I am, not, Graham. I am not negating, I'm not talking about the, I, I, I think I need to make this very clear in 2020. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about, I'm not here to talk about the ethics of it. I'm here to explain the politics of it once again. I, I didn't realize you, that politics and ethics are two different things. A lot of times they wow, are. Now. Wow. A lot of times they yeah. are. We, wow. Trump is president. What are you talking about? Wow. Yeah. Trump is president. So, yeah. so Lindsey yeah. Graham has no ethics? So. Yeah. I think he's playing a political game, and I think. It, well, and I think, shame on him part, because I thought he was fine. sworn to follow the Constitution, and that's he is fine. not doing it. So, then that will be I, I know that everyone wants me to come on here and, and rip his, you know what, open. I can't. I won't stop asking me to do it in twenty. Well, then I'm, I'm happy to do it. it. By all not means, not following the Constitution. By all means. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
we have um, did what was right for Arizona. I will tell you that I have. Anti-Semitism shouldn't be a left or right issue. It, I don't think we should be politicizing it on either side because, as we know, if it's a tiki torch person in Charlottesville saying Jews will not replace us, or if it's the, right. we had Barry Weiss on to talk about sort of these uh, more dog whistle moments that, in my my view, Ilhan Omar is doing, and she, uh, as of Saturday, hadn't been able to go on, have gone 15 days without saying something anti-Semitic. What's interesting about this is that she is an up-and-coming rising star in the Democratic Party. She's on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine right now. She fits a lot of boxes that Democrats like. She is the first Somali elected member of Congress. She's the first woman, uh, or excuse me, first of two Muslim women elected to Congress. And she's the first minority woman to serve from Minnesota. So the comment she said was, so for me, I want to talk about the political influence in this country that says it is okay for people to push for allegiance to a foreign country. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask, why is it okay for me to talk about the influence of the NRA, of fossil fuel industries, or big pharma, and not talk about a powerful lobby that is influencing policy? That's what she said. And people say that that is anti-Semitic. Um, when I just we had really Barry, no, let me just oh. finish. When um, we had Barry Weiss on as an expert <laughs> in what is anti-Semitic and what isn't, I asked her, is it okay to talk about Israel's policies and not be called anti-Semitic. And she said and yes. And she said yes. Omar has never that. suggested no. that Israel does not have the right but to can exist. I say what she has said? So to yeah, me, give us um, it finish. seems to me that Republicans are trying to use this as a wedge issue. I'm really not. And I think that not you. Um, She's not talking about you. You know, this selective outrage um, is is kind of crazy because I don't think that the Republicans have moral high ground here. But it seems like Democrats are upset I think that too, Kevin though. McCarthy has used this, this anti, these anti-Semitic tropes. I think that Jim Jordan just recently yes. and I, you know, I, tweeted I, 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 this. Against Tom Steyer. Against, and right. remember that Ilhan um, Omar in the West uh, Virginia Republican Party just had this huge poster superimposed with her face with 9-11 terrorists. And I haven't heard any outrage about that coming from the Republican Party. They are backing a president so, who, who is in bed with so, dictators uh, committing human rights so violations really all over the world. in bigotry. <laughs> so, in bigotry. Let's go there. So least. just really quickly, since we're talking about, about I take this very personally. I, I, I would go so far as to say I, I probably verge on being a Zionist as well. But I will say that I don't have family that is Jewish, but Joe Lieberman and Hadassah Lieberman are my family. Joe Lieberman and Hadassah Lieberman. Oh, I don't even want to watch. Family. I'm not watching. Yeah. And I take the hate crimes rising in this country incredibly seriously and I think what's happening in Europe is really scary. In this country incredibly seriously. Watch it. What's happening in Europe is really scary. And I'm sorry if I'm getting emotional, right. but You're right. the idea that this is politicized, I'm really not I was very nervous to talk about this on the show because I thought it would become politicized and it really shouldn't be. I'm gonna fucking it really shouldn't be. <laughs> on both sides it should be called out. Right. Mm -hmm. And just because I don't technically have Jewish family that are blood related to me, it doesn't mean I don't take this as seriously, and it is very dangerous, very dangerous. Watch it. Just because I don't technically have a Jewish family. <laughs> and I think we all collectively as Americans on both sides, and what Ilan Homar is saying is very scary to me, and it's very scary to a lot of people, and I don't think you have to be Jewish to recognize that. You don't. That. And you I, don't I, I just hope instead of uh, an, a resolution just from testing. the Democrats, I'm tired of the selective outrage, I and I hope that we have a joint resolution outrage. perhaps from Republicans okay. and, and from the Democrats. I would be in favor of a joint resolution. Oh, my God. Why would you... Why would you guys make me fucking watch that? No, what that's is fine, but the president cannot use his, should abuse not. his, should not what abuse his Are power. You listening? Let me finish. Is the president. Damn. Politics is politics is politics and it's a really dirty oh. game. I, I'm just trying to explain to you my side yeah. of the aisle. I'm here to explain the politics of it once oh. again. You know what? When we possibly yeah. could be going to war with well, the Iran, Constitution is the I Constitution think, is the Constitution. Yeah. When I, I we had Barry, right? no, let me just yeah. finish. No, no. I don't understand no. what you're saying. You're saying, you're you're saying, saying and it is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Are you, are you, are you a saying, journalist? I you consider just, myself are, okay, a journalist so, degree. I was just asking. I consider myself I a If The president cannot abuse his power. I haven't heard any outrage about that coming from the Republican Party. I know that everyone wants me to come on here and rip his, you know what, open. I can't. I won't.
stop asking me to do it. Well, then I'm happy to do it. By all not means. following the Constitution. By all means. <laughs>